working in our advanced technology group to uh, develop uh, tools for kids to program and to do it without writing any code. So we're announcing today a new product. And it is a future product, but we're announcing today that this will be coming later this year, most likely. And it is, in, it is called Coco. Coco is a programming uh, system for kids that requires no programming. What it does is it lets kids, to cr kids create animated simulations. And actually, adults can use it, too. Uh, we conducted uh, lots of uh, tests in school to see what kinds of user interfaces would stimulate creative thought and teach problem-solving behavior. Using Coco, kids can create simulations and share them with each other. And uh, rather than talk about it more, I'd like to uh, get a demo. So we've invited an expert uh, Coco user to come up. And his name is Gregory Miller, and he's going to take us on a guided tour of Coco. Gregory. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Great. So uh, why don't you get up there and uh, show us how uh, Coco works. Okay. Um, <laughs> As you know, I'm uh, Gregory Miller. I've been using Coco for many months in both my home and my school. This is a world that a uh, fifth grade science teacher made to show the plant cycle. When the sun passes over the water, the water evaporates to make clouds, which rain down on seed, which you can make more of by clicking on the ground. And you can change blossoms into weeds and weeds into blossoms. This is cool and everything, but it's a little too educational. Let's fix that. Let's make the rain acid rain. So that when it, so that when it hits flowers, it withers them. First in cocoa, you change the appearance to be whatever you want it to be. In this case, a rusty brown acid color. Nasty, yeah. What is that? And then you set the situa situation up for Coco. It puts a little spotlight for you. In this case, I want, this is where I want to work. So if you're a blossom, then delete the acid rain above you. Delete the blossom. Go into the scrapbook here. This, I preview this. And then let's close it and save it. So now when we run it, whenever acid rain hits those, it withers it. But, This is kind of weird because we have this dead, withered, nasty thing on top of green, healthy stalks. So let's make a rule that if you're a green, healthy stalk and you have a withered thing above you, you delete yourself and move down. Now when you run it, all those move down. But it leaves the weeds alone. Okay, I want to be able to share this with other people, so I'm going to go up to the file menu and say, Save for Internet. Okay, this is a .coco file. Now, anybody that has Netscape and has a Netscape plugin for Coco can run my world. And it runs, and the interaction still works. You can still make new seeds, and you can still change the Let's see some other worlds. There's hyper checkers, checkers that play themselves. Different game every time. There's things getting pretty lucky here. There we go. And this is Pachinko that the uh, math teacher made to show probability. You can reset it and you can stop this. So Coco lets even me become a Mac developer, which means I'm your competition. <laughs> Afraid. Be very afraid. <laughs> <laughs> afraid.